Now, I'm normally not the type to do anything messy or anything like that, but there was a post with some allegations of some people that I personally know, and then there was some back and forth, and then there was a big delete, delete, and I just feel like the person that made the post wanted the attention, and um, uh, I just want to get the people what they want. I'm going to get in that attention. Let's do a little recap. So Homegirl makes this post, and it says, I just looked at my wrist. I got time today. Protect your peace at all costs. I'm having to get rid of these snakes my grandma keeps warning me about in my dreams. Get them snakes up out the way, baby. One want the exact same car I have. Why? But can't afford it. The same body I have and now trying to buy it are already bought it. The body she probably talking about. Okay. A house but can't afford it. And they got bad credit. Ooh, tell her business, girl. I'm tired of multiple bad, built, broke, big stomach women. She could have said another B word, but she didn't. Uh, hating on me. Leave me alone, police. I don't talk about people, nor do I engage and mess with anybody, but I got time today. But you jealous? She didn't say hoes, but I probably would have used the word hoe right there. Okay, so this is the person that made that first post. Then she doubled back and made another post. But this post, she got very specific. She tagged the individuals that she was talking about. Uh, let's see what she said. So what she did is she got a screenshot of a conversation that these people had behind her back. Now, this is what she had to say. I just looked at my risk. I got time today. She ain't playing with that risk in that time she got today. She must be off. I don't mess with people, nor do I talk about people, but fake friends be messy, being snakes, talking about me to people they barely know. Uh, why? And then she asked the individuals that she's saying was talking about her, why they talking about her. Now, I read the message, and I'm not going to waste y'all time with this message. The people in the message didn't say anything directly about her or towards her anything like that they just identified hey you made this person mad and the other person's like i don't know why she mad that's it now it was a conversation but they didn't talk about her i read it y'all can read it it's nothing to read i'm gonna just be honest okay i didn't know this was gonna take up so much of my time i had to go get me a coffee uh just to keep up and stay awake on this reporting job but uh, I don't have everything because, of course, they have deleted the post. They wanted the attention, but I guess not all of the attention. Well, uh, I just want to give y'all the little bits and pieces that I have. And, you know, I just want everybody to have a good little day. It's just fun and games. Uh, but I seen that this is one of the girls that she uh, posted. And her response just was simply, girl, bye. I guess she took the Michelle Obama route or acts like a bully you don't stoop to their level no our motto is when they go low we go high well you know what they say what goes up must come down it don't matter who taking the high and low Tom says she was still on this low bus ride she said felicia go away you bad build big stomach like can't keep a job because you can't get along with anyone broke bad credit heaven ass so this is what she was talking about felicia credit must be fucked up felicia uh f you i don't do fake friends you crazy one that why you have no friends because you the one that likes to be messy go ask her family and they will say the same you are well, me being a good reporter that i am i have to go see felicia bad built no credit heaven ass and this is her page okay felicia where is this bad built stomach? Felicia, you look good. You look good. Hold on. Is that the tummy? Is this it? Felicia, girl, you good. And this is Felicia Carr with her no credit having ass. <laughs> well, Felicia came in the chat, y'all. Felicia said, girl, you need to tag a mental therapist. You know I have a lot of time as well. I don't know where the hell these two work at, but they both got time today. They must be off. If I told all these people 
what you said, you be trying to justify why you discuss their business with me behind their backs. Woo! She said, all these people. Girl, no, she ain't about to name the people. She is. She said, Robert Valentine. She gave me first and last night. Robin. She said, Crystal with the light eyes. Damn, she doing descriptive. Okay, okay. She said, Kat, Dexter, Kia. Kia! That's my best friend. Wait a minute. Don't do that. Uh, she said, Kimberly, who smokes cigars. Oh, now she just... Okay. Okay, Felicia. You would be good at identifying people because you're giving real specific identities out here. Evelyn that work at... Hey, damn, she know where the people work at? She say Robert Jefferson. Oh, yeah. Tasha, I just remember what you said about her. Those are the people's businesses I know from you, but I'm sure I forgot a fruit. So she's saying this girl done tell her all these other people's businesses. Now, wait a minute. Felicia's saying you done sat there and talked about all these people to me behind they back. Remind you, this all started because homegirl said that they was talking about her back. So now what they call that? Ain't that the skunk calling the monkey funky? Girl, now you can't be sitting up here getting mad and talking all this stuff and telling people they talking about you when they really ain't really said nothing about you other than stated the fact. And you done sat here and told all these people businesses to somebody else. And now you talking about this girl being bad, built, and envious, and broke, and credit is messed up. And I go to her page and she got a BMW. I don't think. Okay, me being a good reporter that I am, I went to Tan's page. And uh shit, Tan ain't bad built either. So at least that's a good thing, Tan. I'm I'm happy that you're not, you know, out here just saying outlandish things and you a part of that outlandish. Neither one of the ladies are bad built in my opinion. Um they both are beautiful black individuals. I do hate that it came to this. Uh I am happy that I reported it just because shit wasn't nobody else doing it. Y'all welcome. Well, that is the end of story time. Um, and let's just say Lotto knows. Lotto knows a lot of things. And what I do know that it is extremely easy to mind your own damn business. When you mind your business, you will not find yourself in the midst of mess. Um, as you get older, friendships are not as easy to come by. So cherish the genuine friendship that you have. And you need to learn and understand that you can't trust everybody. Everybody ain't your friend. Everybody ain't your partner. You understand what I'm saying? Long live Mo3. Uh, peace out.